Hi, and welcome back to Tammy's Home Tips. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to shorten your blinds. I'll be going over both corded and cordless, so stay tuned. Today, I'm gonna to show you a fast and easy way to shorten either a corded or cordless mini blinds. And I'm gonna show you basically all the steps with this one, and then I'll show you the one difference with the other mini blinds. So stay tuned, and we'll do that together. To do this project, you only really need the scissors and a putty knife or something, even a flathead screwdriver to pull out the little tabs on the bottom. So as I already mentioned, I am gonna start with my cordless mini blinds first. And I'm just gonna pull them all the way down and that way I can see what I'm working with and I'm gonna be cutting into these plats so I need that to be extended fully if possible. And then I'm gonna get my scissors and I'm gonna cut right to the center from the edge. And I'm gonna be careful not to cut the center string there on either the right or left side. That is very important not to cut that. So again, I'm gonna cut just that spot there right up to the hole area and as I'm doing that I don't know if you can notice but I'm pulling that string at the front kind of out of the way with my other hand with my left hand just to make sure I don't cut that either I mean I'm going to be cutting it soon but I just want to kind of keep everything in place right now so I'm just holding the string off to the side just so I can just access only the plat where I want to cut it and that's exactly what I'm doing here and of course, you're gonna do that on both sides and um, just kind of go all the way down, cut only the front part right to the middle, and then I'll show you what we'll do next to take it off completely. I also wanted to mention that I usually determine where I wanna keep my last plat by the windowsill. So I usually keep the last plat that would lay flat on the windowsill as one that I'm going to keep. And then the weighted one that is underneath that, the chunkier one, I also keep that one, but I just like the look of having that last one plat resting on it. And so next, what I'll do after I've cut both sides, the front part, I'll just go back through and just break the ends off and remove just the ends on both sides. And you'll see just how easy it is to remove them like this. Now these are faux blinds, but I'm certain that if you used it with wood blinds, it would be the same um, because you only have a small piece on the back that you have to break. And then at this point, you would just remove them. They come out very easily. As you can see, they even fall out. And then we can move on to the next step. At this point, I'm gonna cut all those little, what I call ladders. Um, it's just a string that goes from the front to the back. And I'm gonna do that on all parts of this configuration here, but I'm not going to cut the center string again. Now, I haven't talked about this much, but that center string is under tension and that is what makes it cordless. So if we were to cut that, we would compromise the entire cordless mini blind system and you would just have to throw them in the garbage because it would just make it really hard to fix them again. So you definitely do not want to cut that center string. The next step is to remove the tabs on the bottom of the weighted plat here. And as you can see, this just releases the string that's inside and you will need that out as you will be removing this excess amount of string here. And you'll see that as you release this, it'll go automatically all the way up to the last plat that you have determined to keep because it's under tension. At this point, you just need to cut off the excess, which I usually cut about two inches below, and that'll give me plenty of room to do the next step. Here, I'm just cleaning up the little excess string so it's not in my way for a future step. Now, one thing I wanna mention is that there are two little grooves on either side of the tab, and that is so that you can line that up with the string and that gives kind of the tabs room to push back in 
because otherwise it's just a little too tight. So make sure you line up the strings with the tab as you're pushing it in, it'll make it real easy. Now I'm just gonna twist that little bit, like that two inches of string, and pull that tab and just kind of squeeze it in there. Voila, the finished product, super easy. All right, and now we're gonna move on to the corded line. I'm just gonna fast forward through this first part because it's basically the same as the cordless blinds, so be sure to check out those steps earlier in this video. You might be wondering what a corded blind is even because I don't even think they sell these anymore, but it just so happened that the house that we bought had these and they never did shorten the blinds and I never got around to doing it. So I figured, well, I'll show you how to do these too. And basically the difference is, is that it's not under tension. That center string, as you can see, is just there. And to pull this one up, you would just manually again pull up on the mini blinds to get them to open. So you want to have to manually shorten the length of that string and you just do that by pulling the string right through the center and just tying a new knot there. And that makes it the new height. And as you saw, everything else is the same. You remove all the plaits the same way, but you just don't cut that center string and you just make a new knot for the new height that you want the um, plait to be resting at. And that's basically the only difference between the cordless and the corded mini blinds. As you can see here, I'm doing the same thing, just twisting and pushing the excess string up into the hole, and then just pushing that tab back into the hole with the channels for the strings on each side kind of lined up, and just pushing it back in to keep everything in place. And then, of course, at the end here, I'll just cut off that excess bit of string, and it's all done and looks great. So I hope you found that helpful. If you have any comments, please feel free to drop them below and be sure to check out my other videos. I have a lot of different types of content on things about the house and don't forget to like and subscribe.